Never be on the expectation to get a new belt, you know what I'm saying? Just show up in the gym, commitment, you know, train hard, you know, natural, you're gonna progress in your skills. Three years ago, when I received my black belt, I was presented with an opportunity. This kid is 12 years with me, great friend, great jiu-jitsu. I really think the most beneficial aspect of it is just what you learn about yourself. You know, black belt. Black belt. <laughs> I mean, the moment the black belt gets wrapped around your waist, it's, that was a very dear moment for me with that hug with Hay, just because I sacrificed so much to get that, and he believed in me so much to give it to me. I always heard black belts say that when you get your black belt, you start learning again, and it just didn't make sense until you get the black belt and then you realize it. You are constantly learning and experiencing new things every day. When I'm having the toughest moments in life, I'm able to go on that mat and forget every problem that's going on around me, and I'm able to just be myself. From the outside looking in, man, Hay is a very imposing figure. How are you? You wanna hide it behind grandma? Give it five. Five. Give it five. Yeah. Hay is legitimately a badass in the way he carries himself, but when he shakes your hand and he looks you dead in your eyes, the most loyal, compassionate, loving man. I think his most beautiful quality is how genuine he is. I always be honest. The truth is always the best. Yeah. Yes, man. Never be fake. In the moment, whatever he needs to say, he's going to say it. I'm so happy that, uh, because, you know, there's another door, Castle Grace, open, you know, another extension from the family. Thanks so much for inviting me. Thanks Thank for being a part of my association. I thought I could fight until I took a jiu-jitsu class and got choked out a gang of times, and then it changed my world. All right, ready, Steve? We'll go. <laughs> First time I saw Gracie in action tape was Horian talking in the background. Boys patiently works on bringing him to the ground. They would constantly, repetitively be taking these guys to the ground, taking their back, and choke every time. A jiu-jitsu fighter becomes so confident in his ability to handle any aspect of a fight that he's able to maintain a calm and rational attitude. I broke my hand in a fight one time and I had to fucking wipe my ass with my other hand and was like, man, what the fuck is this? I don't want to punch anyone. I was like, yo, this isn't a coincidence that these guys keep doing this shit, you know? Didn't matter what, karate, wrestling, whatever, they would end up taking them back and choking them out. And I was like, fuck, man, that could be me one day. Like, thinking that I'm a tough guy and full of shit and get my ass kicked, you know? And I didn't want to be a victim. So I was like, maybe I should check this out. Look at that. Some guy had found a tape. Eight seconds in, I'm seeing freaking. And I remember the guy saying, oh, he tapped from an arm bar. I'm like, what the hell is an arm bar? That was the first time I saw jujitsu. Fast forward 10 years later, the Funniest thing is, it's the guys that are always the toughest at the bar, the ones that are talking the most shit, puffing their chest out the most, that when they step on the mat and they want no part of it. It comes from your heart and it comes from your mind. So that's why mindset is the most important thing. Because if you have a strong mind, man, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> Oh, very good fight, man. Great job, Ethan. Hey, this, uh, are you kidding me? Let him go down like that. <laughs> Dad, if you're tired, it's really oh, Stop it now, Phil. Stop it now. Okay, so we take, we're taking time out. You know, right now he just turned five. He's come to the back here and rolled around with the guys. Get out of my man, Kate. What are you guys doing here? Yeah! Yeah!
It's definitely one of those things I dream about, kind of like, you know, my little guy doing jiu-jitsu and freaking loving it like I do. I think a connection is where we look for it. And uh, whatever he does, because he understands what connection is or he's learning, I don't think it really matters where he gets it from. If he decides he wants to just be a reader, he wants to freaking study his ass off and connect with his friends who also like to study their ass off, I'd be stoked. I just want him to find a connection, relatability, some place where he feels safe, and you know, whether it be jujitsu, like I said, a freaking, you know, a ballroom dancing. I don't care. Just get that connection, feel comfortable with yourself. So you have a good connection. Hey is definitely a, a you know, they broke the mold. So he's a combo, the cake and the the my He um he's a popular guy, man. Hey Diogo. A is a black belt under Carlson Gracie Sr. in the 80s and 90s, man. And he is one of the first from the Carlson Gracie team. Carlson is a black belt under Carlos. And he took over fighting for the family when Elio was older. And Hayes from an old school background where you went hard and you went hard every day. But that's why they produce champions. Hey Diogo, Willie Ishmael, Marulo Bostamante, Mario Sperry. I mean, these guys are legends in the sport. Vitor Belfort. Oh, he does with the hands up. Vitor Belfort is the winner. Carlson's style was more for MMA or Valley Tudo back then, the anything go style. So more of a top game or a sweep. Smash, pressure, smash, smash, always smash, 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 smash. That's what they talk about, passing the guard. I'm gonna smash you, and as Hay would say, I'm gonna make your mom cry before you make my mom cry. You wanna pull your pants up? That's a good excuse to stop, though. Keep your gi loose, and that way you can always stop to say, hold on. Usually you wanna do that when you're in a really bad position. Most people don't train jujitsu, you know? So I know what I'm capable of. I know what I go do, and I know what my training partners are capable of. So I know what they do to me. So there's nothing on the street that I'm gonna be too much worried about. So if anything, I can brush things off easier because like, I don't wanna have to hurt the next person over some dumb shit, over their own ignorance. So really it's like, we're saving you. Jocko Willing says it's like having a superpower. My son asked me, hey dad, is there really such a thing as superpowers? I'm like, jujitsu. It's all good, but so, um, I met lifelong friends on the mat. People in the martial arts community, we have a saying that you really see someone's true self on that mat. In the last, what, eight, nine years, when I've learned so much and I found myself so much through jujitsu, a lot of people are full of shit in life. In order for you to come to jujitsu and train every day, you know, that means you're getting your ass kicked. That means you're having to work hard because the next guy isn't going to be less relentless because you are having a bad day or you're feeling tired or, you know, everybody's there to put in their work. I may not compete, but if maybe, hey, can't be there to coach, I'm gonna go to the tournament and make sure that they have somebody standing there. At least like, yo, I'm, I see you here. The greatest part of jujitsu is just the calm, the serenity, the peace, where there's nothing at all. You don't have to worry about nothing, you know? And that's the most amazing part. That's what it's brought me. Drinks like a horse in the desert. Respect and, and humbleness Come. and Come on. it's it's one of the hardest things you can do is get a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, the most important gain out of Jiu-Jitsu for me is the community of people you meet. Marsh is the guy I've logged the most rolling hours with, him and Emerson. Say hi. I'm just excited to be able to pass it on to my son. Anyone else who's willing to enjoy this beautiful sport. So, yeah, really thrilled. 
On our path to jujitsu, you meet incredible people that just affect your lives in positive ways. I met him when I was a white belt and he was a blue belt, and he's influenced my game the most. When you teach Brazilian jiu-jitsu every day, you have to be present. Going from a student where I just have to focus on my own technique and my own role. Good. As opposed to being a teacher, your full attention has to be on the students, them doing the technique and making sure they're doing it properly. Come up, pinch my elbow. Hand, and now shift my hip out. Grab the Kimura, push it up, and I run it across his stomach. Pull it out and up. If I try to pull it out from here, it's hard to pull. I push his wrist to his stomach, and then up his chest, almost like tracing it. He can't hold it. And then here I can finish. Okay, any questions? Every student has a different course in Jiu Jitsu. Not everyone is stepping on the mat to be a competitor. Uh, I believe the most amazing gift of Jiu Jitsu is just the community of people you meet within. It's a variety of people. But go back, go back. When you pinch, you're gonna pinch, all you're doing is just scooting your butt. You're going from this side to this side. There you go, Rai. Nice. They love me, I love them. It, it becomes a real strong bond. Quada, oh, 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 I plan to do jujitsu until the day someone puts me in a coffin. Uh, I pass what I think you have to learn. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I deal with my people. I pass, like, like I said, it depends what attendance I have. I have all white belts, blue belts. Okay, work a lot of these. And that's where the brotherhood kind of starts. White belts, you're just happy for each other. When you grow, I grow. You know, it's just like, it's just awesome. And uh, there's no other sport I've ever done or any other community that has given me that kind of no bullshit freaking, I'm in your corner. You play top since the beginning of the fight, maintain the top to the end, aggressive, look for the fight. You pull guard since the beginning, aggressive open guard or close guard, then I suggest, close guard. Make the guy busy, attack him. Doesn't, doesn't make sense to pull guard and be set up and don't do nothing. Wait for the guy to stand and break your guard, pass your guard. Aggressive. Try to tap him out or sweep him. You know, people love Marsh because they see how selfless and how loving he is. And for him to get his black belt, for me, I couldn't be prouder of him. One new black belt, Marshall. Yeah! show up and you're there, that's all he asked. An incredible instructor and just a hilarious nutball all at the same time. Incredible human being. It takes incredible dedication and it takes loyalty to get your black belt.